Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's world, when smart speakers have created a market, companies like Google and Amazon are creating products to compete. Google created the Google Home, Amazon created the Amazon Echo, which has Alexa and Google has Google Assistant. And um, in my case, I combined both of them and created one smart device using Raspberry Pi and on just under 60 bucks, and it works just fine. Let's see how it works. Joke. part of the github phone and uh, the raspbian of course and i have two uh, speakers you can buy them at the dollar store i have a, a power bank for power giving it power i want it to be portable that's why i have a power bank or you could connect it to any usb device and uh that's all you need i have a usb mic actually i have a usb mic can, uh, put into this I have uh, speakers. This doesn't really matter. This this is just for power. Uh, this is actually where the audio outputs. And um, so let's see it in action. So we have to turn on here. Hello. That was Alexa saying hello. And Google Assistant is gonna follow that soon. So that was the hi. Google Assistant saying hi. Now it's ready to receive actions or commands. So now I'm gonna ask him for a joke. Hey Google, tell me a joke. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> Now uh, I'm gonna ask Alexa something. Alexa? Yes. Give me a joke. Which of Santa's reindeer are dinosaurs afraid of? Comment. So that was Alexa, but I feel like Alexa still needs some improvements on the GitHub thing. And yeah. And uh, we could ask it anything almost. Hey Google, give me the weather. Currently in Toronto, it's 23 and mostly cloudy. The forecast tonight is 23 and mostly cloudy. That was Google Assistant again. And I'm gonna ask Alexa the weather. Alexa? Alexa? Yes. What's the weather? Right now in Scarborough, it's minus four degrees Celsius with flurries. Throughout the night, you can expect more of the same with a low of minus five degrees. Have a good night. So, um, that was Alexa. So, uh, since this is um, the Google Assistant SDK from, and it's hosted by the Google Cloud, uh, this can do everything the normal Google Home products could do. For example, music. Only the real Google Home or like Google Mini could do music from things. So, but I've added an um, add-on for Spotify, which now enables me to play music via Bluetooth or anything. Since it's run on Linux, everything, more and more features could be added to your system. Just, just you just have to be creative. And one issue I've seen some people have with this uh, having both Google Assistant and Alexa on one device is both of them speaking at once. <coughs> and one thing to do, to a, a way to avoid that would be like, um, so for example, after saying, talking, giving a command to Google, pause for a sec, then ask Alexa. That's why like, they don't, they always, anyone could make this at home, but one thing to keep in mind is if you're setting out to make this, you have to be patient. If you're not patient enough, like when this has 
the, I've got many errors with this. Some say, like some tutorials give you that, oh, there's no errors. You just follow the guidelines because it doesn't work like that. It always, the Google SDK and Amazon Alexa always updates and uh, you necessarily don't get what you see here. All you need for this to work is your Wi-Fi. That's all you need. Everything else is pre-made, pre-set up. So like you don't need anything else. You just plug it, uh, plug it in to either just plug in Ethernet or Wi-Fi. That's, yeah, that's basically all you need. And when you're configuring this, you have the HDMI on the, ras the Raspberry Pi. Here I'm using a Raspberry Pi Model 3, uh, 3 uh, B Plus. I believe yeah it's under like 50 bucks or something anybody could make this you should make it now I'll be explaining how it all works so uh, Google uh, on the Google, Google assistant on the Raspberry Pi is hosted by the Google cloud which enables the device to talk back and forth with the Google system and uh, Alexa for Alexa you have to create a developer account and all these things and um, you have to set it I believe Alexa setup is a bit more harder uh, than the Google Assistant but still is fine but um, Alexa you have to set up uh, yeah I've seen many tutorials for this and uh, a lot of them tell you you just need to follow these steps and um, it's gonna work out just fine but believe me it doesn't work out always you have many errors which come up in the program which you're not expecting at the time but you need uh, help from for example I use help from uh, Stack Overflow and all these other resources which uh, help me finish this project so I want to thank all of them for helping me and uh, this was a great time learning new things for example I learned Python along the way this is a great project for beginners and everything and I think all of you should try it this Google Home project is a great project for everyone, for beginners and uh, even experts, because it all depends on your creativity. And uh, the creativity is your barrier. So for beginners, you can just make the thing and play with it a bit. And for extreme people, you can add plugins and do a, like a bunch of cool stuff with Python and all these things. And I think everyone should try this with a Raspberry Pi fit. By investing in a product like a Raspberry Pi, you're investing in yourself. I think that's a great bet. That shows the value you give yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Tell me in the comments if you want me to show you a step by step process on how to build this yourself. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video so I could create more content like this. And stay tuned till the next one. Thank you.